We all like to get away now and again, and what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. So we have a reservation at the IHG Holiday Inn and hopefully we will have a quiet room on the top. So we are going to 908. The top floor. Top floor for the most quiet. This is different. It's nice and refurbished, I think, because I don't remember looking like this back when we stayed at the Holiday Inn before. It is quite nice. So this is the room. Wow, look at this place. I don't have to put the actual key card in for it to illuminate and function properly. So we have a nice fridge over here, which we could stock up with any water or any thing that we want chilled. There's also the coffee making facilities and tea area right here. And there is a area to put your jackets etc with the ironing board and iron right here and I think this is a perfect place to put the suitcase to leave you out of the way so now let's look at the rest of the room so this is I think this is like a double bed and there is a TV right here there is a a telephone here with a pad and pencil saying welcome enjoy your stay signed Lloyd I don't know who Lloyd is but thank you very much it's, it's very welcome so out here is the balcony so I think this is overlooking parts of burn I don't really know which part of Birmingham unfortunately but at, at least we have the option to go outside if we wanted to because there is a door right here and it says attention the balcony door in this room can open fully and guests with young children should exercise care holiday in okay so let's do that I don't want this to lock behind me, so I'm just going to leave it open. So this is a good area to get any fresh air that you might need. Okay, I think it's a little too windy outside for my liking, so let's close this up. So here are some important leaflets for us to go through, including a menu, I believe. This is food, food to make you happy. Food always makes us happy, so thank you very much. But wait, there's more, come with me. So this is the connecting area. So here is a separate table and chair with a little sitting area right here. 
and we have these blinds that that you can move to fit your wants and needs to let in as much or as little light in as you want. So there are two adjoining doors. I believe they kind of link all these rooms together. So I'm assuming that this is like for a family that want to stay together so that they could intermingle as they please or lock up the doors when they want their privacy. So that's fine. Now this is the bathroom. So let's turn on the light. So there is a nice bath for Marcus to enjoy later on. There is plenty of body wash, shampoo, conditioner for us to use with a shower and bath as stated before. They have this vanity mirror which kind of zooms in and makes things look really big or you could go by the regular reflection but i think i'll stick with this one thank you they have standard sink and cups on the side so this would be plenty of space for us to get on with and lastly they have the toilet over here as well as some towels on a heating rack is it a heating rack or is it something else I'll just go with heating rack. So we have the thermostat and air conditioning system over here. So I think it's a little too stuffy. So let's turn it on and let's have some cool air pumping through these vents. And then here is the radiator just in case we are feeling cold for whatever reason. It is a little windy for our liking, but I think this room does provide some pretty great and unique views of Birmingham, which I think we will take in and enjoy and reminisce about because we haven't been here for quite some time. But what will my verdict be after our night stay? Stay tuned after the break to find out. I smell something fishy. You're not subscribing to our show, but it's easy. Just hit the subscribe button. It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Well, I think that there are some seagulls overhead and they're here to greet us this morning, which is strange. So morning, um, it was an uncomfortable bed last night. I think I would have liked it to have been a little bit more comfortable. The back is feeling quite sore from the night before. Um, the bed was smaller than we were used to having. The shower wasn't too strong either. I think there was some pressure, but I would have liked to have a opportunity to make it stronger because I think that there was just one setting you were able to turn the lever from uh, hot to hotter to, to less hot to cold but then I think it would have been better to have the strength of it be able to be adjustable unfortunately we did not make good use of this balcony because I think it was way too windy yesterday and when we got back it was kind of wet and and rainy and windy and it wasn't a good combination of factors to enjoy this view of Birmingham. Overall we did enjoy the big room and having the extra space the bit that had the extra workstation so that was a bonus in our eyes because I wasn't sure what type of room we were going to be given so that was a good bonus and another good bonus is that the hotel check-in person um, asked whether I wanted a late checkout 
so I said yes because um, because it would make our life more convenient this morning when we go back onto the train back to London. Let's make sure this is locked. As far as breakfast is concerned, we chose not to have the breakfast option. She did ask us at checking whether we wanted it, but I think it would have been a bit too chaotic. However, um, when I went downstairs, I spoke to the guy at the breakfast and then I said that I wanted two Americanos. So then the other lady came out, went to the Starbucks concession and then made us some Starbucks, um, which I bought and paid for and then brought it back up to have in the room before we need to check out. So I think that the Holiday Inn is a really good option because it's really close to Chinatown and the gay area on Hearst Street. It is also easily accessible from Birmingham New Street and a little bit further away for Birmingham Moore Street, but it wasn't too much of a trek to get here. So overall, I think this is a nice hotel to have a long weekend, a city break, or a way to get away from your daily grind. And I hope that you will enjoy this hotel just as much as we did. And I want to remind you to subscribe for those of you that have subscribed already. We do really appreciate it. And we also appreciate any of your likes and comments that you have on our content. Until next time, we will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.